what will you, know you do that. for the next couple of hours? Go watch the carnage on TV. The U.S. Open. Rigorous, yes. Fair, not always. The last six U.S. Opens, only seven players have managed to finish the championship under par. In the last two years, the winning score was plus five. But it appears the USGA's finally got it right this year at Torrey Pines. It's the best setup I've ever seen for a U.S. Open. Everybody's very pleased with the course, which maybe is a little disappointing. It's always nice when half the field give out about it or something. But don't be confused. Torrey Pines is no walk in the park. It's the longest course in U.S. Open history, stretching nearly four and a half miles. It plays even longer than that, however, because the thick air of the ocean shortens the drives off the tee. But its length is not its only weapon. One of the biggest challenges of the U.S. Open is the rough. Now take a look. This is the worst of it. It's about four inches long, and as you can see, it makes my pen completely disappear. So you can only imagine what it does to a golf ball. Another wrinkle to this year's Open, rotating tee boxes, dramatically changing the lengths and looks of the holes. It's going to be a great test, the way they uh, have set it up with different tees, different lengths. Uh, it, it can play so many different 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 ways. Bottom line, Torrey Pines will still be a stern test of golf, but at least it will test golfers' skills and not their patience.